Parks and Recreation. She's here. Who's here? My ex-wife, Tammy, too. I can smell the sulfur coming off her cloven hooves. It's an anti-fairy tale, isn't it? It's it's a it's a reverse on fairy tale. You know, at the end of fairy tales, they get the money and they're always beautiful. You know, this is saying actually we get we don't want anything and uh, we're big fat ugly people that live in a swamp. Hey there, is there a project you're working on? I know more than you. All right. It reminds me the irreverence and the subversiveness of it is again what kind of makes it special and cool. He's a character that moves through life and has fun. He enjoys his swamp. He enjoys his isolation. He's found a way to make a way in the world uh, and doesn't realize that there can be more until he meets the characters of Donkey and Fiona. My gravestone's going to be a 60-inch touchscreen with a hologram of four me singing End of the Road by Boys to Men. In the past, you didn't have that kind of level of actor playing a leading role in an animated film. No. Shave your liver! Squeeze the jelly from your eyes. Actually, it's quite good on toast. You feel now that you really get such incredible performances from people. So I loved it. It's Shrek and Shrek 2. I absolutely loved I have my own private bathroom. Uh, occupied. Oh, my God. Oh. Introducing new characters uh, was, I think, the most fun for us to do in Shrek 2, just because you knew all the other ones. It was, it was really fun to get a character like Puss and just throw him right in the middle of those two. You know, and see the, see the sparks fly. Love the hair. Antonio Banderas is the cat. You know, I mean, he was just brilliant. I suggested Antonio Banderas. When they described it, it didn't seem like there was anybody else in the world that would fit the part. Leave on my head? You got it.